All right, you are all good, Grace. Great, thank you, everybody. How are you? Thank you for joining me. It's a beautiful Saturday out there. Um, so I really appreciate your time. I know I can see that we have about 15 people uh, joining right now. I think there's going to be more. So I really want to thank you for your time. And I appreciate you being here with me and spend an hour with me and take a look at this uh, beautiful listing uh, in, at Altamira in Santa Clara. So my name is Grace Sang. So I am the listing agent for this um, property. And so uh, today I just want to run through a little bit of the logistics of this webinar. Uh, my assistant Cassandra is monitoring in the background. So what you can do is you can uh, put questions in the Q&A and she will be monitoring the uh, chat room uh, and the Q&A. And if you have questions, she will bring the question uh, on the call as I am going through the property. So I'm going to walk around with my gimbal. I will try to uh, uh, walk around slowly and I'll explain all the features of the of this property slowly and if you want to stop me and want me to kind of zoom and uh, show you a specific feature please feel free to let me know okay and when we're done with inside I will also take you outside to kind of let you know what's the environment what would you be looking at when you look out the patio and you know just the surroundings of this uh, condo I think you're gonna like it a lot because it's a beautiful place here so um, um, uh, one more thing is the video will be recorded so if you have miss any information i'll try to go over them slowly if you miss anything you will get a link to the recording when it is all done and i'll also put it on social media as well so you would have a lot of chances to review the information and a lot of you uh, probably have received an email from me yesterday after you have registered on eventbrite.com uh, and i will send you the link there and you will find all my information so you can have my email phone number some of them, have, you have responded to my email and I'll be reaching out to you after the open house and, uh, to check in and see you know, how I can help you. Okay, so let me see. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, so I just wanna give Cassandra uh, a reminder to put this on Facebook Live so more people can watch uh, us on uh, Facebook as well. So Cassandra, if you can please help me do that, that will be awesome. Okay, so if you are ready, let's go take a look at this beautiful listings, listing that I have. So I'm going to, I'll flip this around, that's for sure. Let me see. Can everybody see me okay? Cassandra, you see me okay? Yes, looks great, Grace. Okay, great. Okay, so I just want to uh, start from where the front door. So I'll show you this front door coming in. I actually have gotten a question. So this is the front door. It's on the top level. So I'll go through all the specifics of this property. This is 1031 Altamira Drive, Unit B in Santa Clara. Uh, zip code is 95051. It's a two bedroom, two bath condo that is 1,012 square feet. So this is what you see as you walk into the front door. So this property was built in 1971, and this unit is located upstairs, which is the top level. There's no neighbors upstairs, and at the corner unit as well. So you only have neighbor on the far side, just one side. Um, oh, wow, that's great, Grace. Yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely. So the complex has a, a 75 units, and the HOA is $440. Uh, the owner bought this at, in 2015, and they have fully remodeled it after they purchased the property. So what I love about this property is, as you can see, it's beautifully remodeled. We'll go through the kitchen and all the rooms slowly. And I want to pan and show you just the surrounding. You can see it's a two-bedroom, two-bath, 1,000. Uh, and 12 square feet, but as you walked in, you can feel like it's very, very spacious. That's wow. one thing I love about this condo is how spacious it is. That and looks, I'll show you, hmm? I'm sorry? It looks very spacious, Grace. Is that hardwood floor? Great question. So this is actually bamboo floor. It looks like hardwood floor, isn't it? Because of the color. 
So if you have seen a lot of open houses that the bamboo floor sometimes looks very light color and it's almost like whitewash, very light in color, but this bamboo, let me see, I'll pan to show you better. It's actually a really warm walnut color and also I love the variation in the floor. So it actually looked like hardwood floor to me when I first came and looked at this property um, after she has, uh, she has finished remodel. Actually, this, the floor was put in by the previous owner, but it looks beautiful after she has done with her remodel. And it actually blends in very well with her, all her upgrades. Hmm. So I wanted to show you, she has put a two-tone paint color and it is the very high quality Kelly Moore color. So there's a lighter color here. Um, I would say it's like very pale, very, very pale green. And also there is a darker, like a taupey color, moss taupey color in the dining area. So that's beautiful. Everything blends in, which gives you a really warm, cozy, comfortable, easy on the eyes uh, feeling as you walked in. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, before we get too far from the main entrance, would you happen to know what's the compass direction of the main entrance? Ah, great question. So I got this question yesterday already. If you stand at the front door looking outside, you're actually facing, you're looking at the, uh, the west. It's west, you're looking out to west. So that's the compass orientation. Okay? So slowly, I want to show you this side of the living room. I think this condo can fit 15, 20 people very comfortably. And our, the balcony is also very big. And if you open up the balcony and you can fit, you can have a lot of friends over. Somebody can be outside enjoying the nice weather. Some of them can be in the kitchen. You would have no problem fit, fitting 15, 20 friends uh, over and have them over and you know, have a small party. And this wall is great because I think this TV is 60 inch. Oh, wow. it, you have a lot of wall space to put even a bigger TV if oh, you have to. So this is a very, very nice spacious uh, space that you have. So I want to give you the dimension as well. So the living room, this is an 11 feet by 18, 11 by 18 feet. And I'll show you over here, she has a bookcase here, but you can also put a bigger bookcase for shoes or keys and your purse when you walk in. I think that's a great idea. And I'm sure you can fit two of these in this area. She only has one right now. Oh yeah, it's very spacious. Yeah, I think those bins will be great for shoes and it will be great then you, you can hide them from view. How's the afternoon sun coming in from that window, Grace? Do you get a lot of good sun inside? Well, that's a great question. So right now it's one o'clock, so it's considered afternoon sun. Um, you know, if you want to, a lot of people ask me this question when I host open houses, how much natural light this space get? So if you want me to, let me turn this off. You actually get a lot, it's really bright, you know, coming from outside, you do get a lot of good natural light coming in. And the trees kind of shaded it as well, so you're not getting the direct sun. Otherwise, it will be very, very hot with the sun coming in too. So that saves energy, uh, utility bills oh, as yeah. well. Okay. So feel free to ask any questions. If you have any questions in the Q&A, Cassandra is monitoring there. Yeah, I actually do have a question for you, Grace. Uh, they'd like to know, does the HOA allow changes to walls inside the unit? Like if they wanted to open up the kitchen? That's a great question. That will be something that you will need to submit an architectural form and check with the HOA. So the, it depends on if this wall is a structural wall. Uh, so that will be a question for the HOA and there is a form in the HOA documents uh, that they will tell you how to. It will be a good question. If you want me to, we can uh, also call HOA and ask them if any other homeowner has already done it then that we can try to kind of get an idea to see if it is possible or not. But I love your thinking or whoever poses this question because if you open up this wall, you can actually put an island there, further open up this space, that would be awesome. That's a great idea. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay, so now I am in the, I wanna show you, this is the dining room. 
And I, uh, this dining room is nine feet by nine feet. So it's also like this table now sits six. You can actually pull it longer. I think it will fit more people. And I love that buffet table up there. You see, if you have friends over, you can put food over there. People can kind of sit around here by, at the table. Some of them can sit outside and eat. And then the sofa, there's just plenty of space. Oh, yeah. I love how she added the TV there. That's, that's different. I know. That's a great idea. So w when she's cooking, that she can, you know, watch the, her favorite show as well. <laughs> so, okay. Well, next, moving on. It's the most favorite part of this condo that uh, for me. I just love, love this kitchen. It's just very clean and sleek and modern. Do, don't you think, Cassandra? Like the, I love the color with the white cabinet. So these are actually solid maple wood shaker style cabinet. I wanna show you, it's solid wood. So it's really good constructions. Look at the inside and deep as well. I don't know if you can see, you can actually. Oh yeah, those are pretty deep. They look very yeah. well as well. Like if you can. Yeah, so this is solid shaker style. So it's very modern, very clean lines. And she has this chrome uh, curved handle, which I love. And if you look, it actually blends in a match with the dishwasher also has kind of a curved handle. Also the refrigerator as well. So I, I think that works really, really well. Okay, so the kitchen, make sure, oh, the kitchen size is eight by nine feet. Eight feet by nine feet. So like I said, it was remodeled back in 2015. Um, I mentioned about the solid maple wood cabinets, and this is a solid color, gray quartz countertop. Oh, quartz. Yeah, I was just yeah. about but what about that backsplash grace that looks like some sort of like maybe tile it looks beautiful yeah yep. so this is called the, it's a white subway tile backsplash so so the backsplash it, it's very hot trend to uh, uh subway tiles has been kind of the hot trend for quite some time now for kitchen and bath i actually have this in my own bathrooms so i love the clean look of it it's very simple uh, but very, very modern and sleek. And what I love about the subway tile is actually, if you look at the grout, it's actually a very thin grout. Yeah. So the, the tiles are very close together. I'm a cook myself. So I, I don't, you know, if the grout is too thick, a lot of grout, it, first of all, it will break. And secondly, it's more, it, it just kind of, the grease and the dirt will just get, it will stick to the grout and it's very hard to clean. So the subway uh, tiles are actually great for that because there's less uh, grout to deal with and very easy to clean, don't you think? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. It looks like it wouldn't be too difficult to clean up after you're done. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, cooking is not just cooking. It's about cleaning too. Uh, you know, you can cook, but if it takes hours and hours to clean, that's not going to be ideal. So I, I love, you know, I also, also want to mention the quartz countertop. Uh, quartz is also very popular these days, and then the popularity is even over granite. The reason is because it is very durable. I'll show you, it's durable and very low maintenance and easy to clean. Here, I'll just pen to show you. So it's very easy to clean, very smooth surface, and non-porous. So in that case, nothing will gonna go through if you spill wine, it will not go through the surface. You never have to polish or um, what do you call it? The, they have the, for granite, you have to seal it. So no conditioning, no polishing, no sealing is required for quartz. That's why uh, uh, people these days love this because of the, how low maintenance it is. Oh yeah, that, that's beautiful. Yeah, so this is a beautiful color that goes together with the white cabinet. Yeah. Right? I like so more about the cabinet. I'm just gonna go through this. So look at this, it's soft close. Oh, so this is a very high quality cabinet because it has soft clothes. And I'll show you what it is. Well, this property is um, occupied. So I forgot to mention that. So the owners still live here. That's why her, her items are still here. But you can see, you can actually put a lot of stuff. Oh, I know. So, right. So it's very deep. Uh -huh. so if you see my hand, it's very deep. And then you can actually put a lot of stuff. Some of the, if it's too shallow, then you can put a lot of items. 
And so one thing what I love about this kitchen is the design. So the cabinet, I love the fact that it goes all the way up to the top. Oh, that's... So you actually have a lot of storage up top. See how much room there is still up there? And you can actually put another shelf if you will. See how she's stacking these two shelves? Yeah. You can actually make another shelf out of it up there. So I like it that way because you have more storage. It's not a big kitchen. It's a two-bedroom condo, not a big, big kitchen. So you need storage. Storage is very important. And, you know, if there is space on the top, it actually collects dust, which I don't like as well. So I love, and I, I learned this visual cue that if you have um, cabinets all the way to the ceiling, it actually makes it look bigger. So I love the fact that it was done that way. And she also put in a very, very nice design of the wine rack. It's also very good use of space over there. That's different. I have, you don't see that in kitchens too often. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So next I want to show you is, um, so the design of the cabinet, where she put things, like first of all here is the trash and the recycle, which is great because you hide all the trash can out of sight. Yeah. Okay? So underneath the sink, uh, she has a lot of stuff in here, but it, you, know, you can see you can store a lot of stuff. So there's a great storage area underneath. And look at this spice wrap. Ooh. Sometimes it's very hard to find what you need up top, especially if it goes all the way to the top. So I think this is great because the stove is right behind you. Whatever you need, it's, you can just turn around and it's within reach. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, that's awesome. That, I, that, I love that spice rack. It's very convenient. So it's not too... Yep. So there are more storage space here. Like I said, it is soft closed. And I want to show you up here above the fridge. There's also, see, she has like a big bag of rice. Oh, yeah. Lots of storage space, it seems like. See how deep it is. See that toaster oven can fit vertically like that. So it's a really deep mm -hmm. cabinet up the top. And see this. I want to show you this. This is really cool. See how these shelves pulls out? Oh, that is so cool. So isn't it a great design? Yeah, it really eliminates like clutter on the countertops because it seems like she has yeah. everything somewhere. Exactly. And it's just easy to find otherwise like things that, I'll show you my arm, can you see? Like, it's like most of my arm, oh my God, most of my arm, <laughs> can, it's the length. I can give you the exact dimension, but it's just how great they have designed the storage. Yeah. For this kitchen, it's amazing. You can store a lot of things. So on this side, then you have more drawers. This is probably makes sense for dishes. Uh, I mean, uh, utensils. Oh, that's big. And then your pots and pans underneath there. Right. And then your cups probably up here. Dishes up. Let me just put that up there. Grace, is that stove new? The stove is beautiful. Ah. Well, that's where I want what I wanted to talk to you next. So. Look at this, it is a gas stove. See how rare it is for a condo to have gas stove. I would say I see only maybe one or two in 10 condos that I see has gas stove, which is a lot of people prefer gas, but if the uh, your community is not uh, designed with that, you will not be able to add the gas stove um, just because you have an HOA. So isn't it great? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so four burners. And then she also has this very sleek design. How, how new is that? Let's put that in or? Um, all the appliances were done in 20, uh, 2015. The remodel was done in 2015. So they're just a little bit over five years, around five years old. An oven and the warming, I think there's a storage drawer. I'm not sure it's warming, but there's the storage drawer. So I want to mention sure these are all high-end Samsung. So I'll zoom to Samsung. And then the fridge is also Samsung. Oh, nice. Yeah. And also the dishwasher. Oh, that's good. You have this one yeah. to keep track of. Yep. That's great. So very high-end, very high quality. And here I'll show you the uh, faucet. It's 
also grown, which is really good high, uh, quality ones. And you can pull this out. Uh, if you are a cook, you know how convenient that is that you can spray the pots and pans um, without dirty in your hands. So that's super helpful. And this is an undermount white sink and it's really deep. So your big pots and pans can actually can fit. I don't know, see, I have this. I'll use this to show you. You see how this, this is a kind of a kettle. The whole thing can fit in there. Oh yeah. So if you have big pots and pans, it's gonna fit really well and you'll be able to wash it in this and soak it overnight. So that's very helpful. And I love the fact that you have everything you need here, air gap, you have soap, dispenser, and this is, she added this, uh, it's uh, filtered water. So she has a filtration system underneath the sink. Oh, so you get fresh filtered water all the time. That's, that's a real thing. Cassandra, do you like this? Like this kitchen? I love the kitchen. I think the color scheme is beautiful. Everything looks like it would be so easy to clean, which is very ideal. <laughs> I know, I know. Who loves cleaning, right? We just like to cook. Cleaning is not our preference. Yeah. So I want to show you before we leave the kitchen, if you have any questions before I leave the kitchen, you can ask me. Um, so this is a porcelain tile on the floor, then, which is great because it's waterproof, it's high quality. I love the grain. It looks like, I don't know, marble. I mean, I love just, it has some variation. Oh yeah, that's it. And it's just not one color. So you can see, so it won't fight, you know, the gray solid color with the floor, it's the pattern is not fighting each other. Yeah, the kitchen countertop, Grace, that's not granite, that's quartz, right? Quartz. So I'll show you how much counter space you have. You have over there and you have this buffet up here and then going around on this side next to the stove, you also have a little space here to put your dishes. What, what about the sink? Is there a garbage disposal in the sink? Yeah, I believe so, yes. Oh, nice, that's awesome. So I'll show you. Yep, you see, there's, there's the incinerator in there. Wonderful, well. Great. Okay, Great. shall we move on? Yeah, we got all I can spend I can spend a whole afternoon here, no problem in the kitchen. Okay, so coming out of the kitchen, this is where the entrance coming in. I want to show you the hallway. Well, another place that you have more storage. Look at this. Coat closet. Oh, nice. That's I like right? it. It goes all the way. And also see how she has like a fan, everything here. Oh, wow, the fan. Okay. And on this side of the hallway, there's more storage, look. Right, more storage. Oh, yeah. I love, I love the storage. You can, you can tell she has a lot of storage because it's not cluttered anywhere, really. Yeah. And so now let's go into this hall bath. Well, the other, and, I will have to mention it again, storage. Look at how deep this storage is in the, in the bathroom. I so you can it. put a lot of your, all your towels, your linen, all your toiletry, and then she has, you, you can put clothes in here, like, you know, your clothes, you don't, so you can, this can be, uh, put some of your clothes here instead of in your closet. That's very, very helpful. I, I, I rarely see such, big storage space in the bathroom. Yeah, especially right. mirror doors like that. That's, that's. Delicious. Yeah. So I want to show you, this is a tub here over, shower over tub. And then it is kind of a beige color, sand color. Actually, it's nice to the touch too. Big, big tile. So big tile, less grout. It's always preferred. Less cleaning, less seams to break. I love it. And look at this. I love this design, an accent design with some metallic color accents stripped down the wall. And then this is actually a space where you can put all your shampoo bottles and your body wash and it won't clutter around the, the tub. Isn't it great? Yeah, that's beautiful. I was just about to ask, is that where you put your shampoos? Cause that's, that's beautiful. Yeah, so this is very popular and I love this. I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't put this in at my house, which then you have to kind of clean around the corner and they, they sometimes get dirty and the dirt, um, 
or videos get trapped in the corner, but in this, like you solve the problem of, you know, easy reach to your bottle uh, shower, shampoo bottles as well. Yeah. So quickly over here, you have the vanity, and this is also quartz, but it has a, 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 a pattern, a stone or a, you know, I don't know what you call a shell, maybe seashell pattern. Very cool. That is beautiful. Is there an exhaust fan in the bathroom? Yes. Here, can you hear it? Oh yeah, I hear it, but it's not too loud. That's not too loud. Yeah. Can I, can I see what the bathroom looks like with the lights off, Grace? Does it get any natural light through the window? Yes, there is a window here. You see? Oh. So that's the, that's the window uh, when, when you come up. Oh, sorry. Let me try to, how come it's not going the other way? Here. So that's the window. There's a window as well. So you actually get light in this, in this bathroom. Yeah. yeah that looks like light. Beautiful. Awesome. So now let me fix this. I don't know why it's not turning, spinning this way. Okay. So let's go to the first bedroom. So I want to give you the dimension of this room. Bedroom number one is 10 by 10. 10 by 10. It also has the beautiful uh, bamboo floor. I'll show you. It's all bamboo floor throughout the whole property. It's a big window. This is a queen size bed. It fits a queen size bed comfortably. And well, you know what I love to talk about storage. You see how big this storage is all the way to the top. Oh, wow. Right? Oh. Look at all the steel boxes up there. I love and this is yeah, this is the mirror door, very lightweight. And then you have this whole wall on this side, it's like 10 feet, the whole, along the whole back wall of this. It's all, all, uh, all closet, isn't that great? Yeah, that's beautiful. I love the two shelves in the, in the storage. That's you usually only have one shelf. And I love that big window. You don't even mm -hmm. need it on during the day. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is, even this room, all the bedroom have recessed light. I didn't turn the lights on. See how bright it is without even turning on the lights? Oh, wow. Recessed light. Well, one of them is out, but recessed light. So that was one thing she added when she remodeled is she added recessed light to all the, all the bedrooms. You see that recessed light in this room? And I'll show you in the family room as well. So it's already with all the recessed light, but you got a lot of natural light as well. Grace, we have a question about the room that you were just in. Will that, okay. will that fit a king bed? That is a queen. A queen. So, so you think a king would be able to fit if, if somebody were to want to switch that out for a king bed? Well, I'll show you how much room it is over here. Uh, the next room will better, probably better, a better choice for a king bed. So this is how much room you have. I'll say maybe like a foot and a half. You can, before you hit the door, so uh, I think queen is a better choice for this one. So let me go to the next one to show you. This will be a great room for a king bed. So first of all, let me give you the dimension. It's 11 feet by 13 feet. So I'll show you. She, this, so this is, a, she has a roommate. So this is a queen bed and see how the dresser next to the bed. So that can def definitely be, uh, fit a king bed. Oh, nice, nice. Right, it fits a desk and another dresser here comfortably. And he also has this dresser here with the TV. See how much room on the two sides? 11 by 13, it's a, it's a big room. Yeah, that one looks big. Oh, I love that it has a bathroom as well. So this is- Yes, this is a master. This is a master. So I wanna show you, this is 13 feet wide. You can see me in the mirror, hi. And um, it's a three door glass, uh, mirror door closet. So it's all closet space behind there. I'm gonna open one up and show you. You see how he has very neatly oh, yeah. arranged. Right, all the way up to the top. And then also, so you can put organizer here and you can like, fit shoes lots and lots and lots of storage space which is rare i would have to say yeah that's 
fun though, especially. That that window, Grace, that's to your left, what is that face? Like, what do you see when you look out the window? Is it the community or? Oh, it is just a, a great question. I'll show you. This yeah. is where the parking is. So in a little alley. So her parking spot is right underneath this unit. Oh, I see. So it faces yeah. like parking lot alley. That's, that's great. Yeah. So you guys loving this closet? I love it. Yeah. And Can the door. You know, so it is great that it is three doors because I see a lot of them are two doors and the doors become too heavy and it will break. So this is a mere three door, very lightweight and works really well. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um, do you know what direction that master bed window is facing, Grace? So if, let's see, west, this is probably north because I'm using the orientation of where the front door coming in and this window is facing north. Great, great. And... I see that there's a desk space there. Is there any space in that room to work? Like if we have to work from home, especially with, you know, what's going on right now? I think so. Depending how big your bed is, if you put a king size bed, I would probably move the table to this side. So you have a little space there as well. Yeah, I think that would be a good space for the desk. But you know, the living room, I have been working out of my kitchen table, which I love the big, big table. So that's also very spacious. You can look outside. That's also very nice. So bathroom, this is the uh, master bathroom. It has a similar design. Um, quads, I'll turn the lights on. And you can see this is a shower. This is a shower that the other one has a tub. So it has a similar design that metal kind of a multicolor. it's black and it has some silver i'll go closer so you can look it has some like earthy tone some glass tile some metal silver and black and then this shower door is also very very functional but also functional but and pretty everything done well but well designed and you hear the fan too? This one, there's a fan in here as well. Oh, I, I like that they're not too loud. That's, that's awesome. Not too loud. So, any questions before I leave the bedroom? I, I do have one question, uh, not about the bedroom per se, but since we saw that parking lot outside, how many car spots does this condo come with? And is it covered or is it a garage? Great question. Is carport right underneath carport and then she showed me earlier earlier she showed me where her spot is and i actually can take you downstairs if you want to let me just check the time i think we have enough time to do that yeah we're at one um, mm -hmm. so uh yeah before we go there so she told me she has a carport and there is another big storage down there and the storage is big enough that she fits her ski equipment her surfboard the big item in, in front of her car, there's also a, a room for storage. Oh, nice, nice. That's great. Okay, so now I am here at the balcony. So now this balcony is also 15 feet by eight feet. She has a big dog, like a 75 pound, 80 pound golden retriever. So he can move around here. This is a great space for him to kind of sleep or hang out and look outside so she this is something that this the, the seller the owner really liked because of how big it is yeah that's beautiful that looks very yeah. out there. and while i'm out here i'm going to show you what you overlooking this balcony you see the ducks down there hanging oh. out the other day i saw ducks with ducklings right there to the kind of on the right side and in the shade do you see it mm -hmm. that's beautiful so that i can't zoom yeah oh I want to show you, you're talking about parking. There is parking spots. You see how the stairs coming up here, all your friends. Remember the 15, 20 people you can come and have a party? This is where they can park, so easy. Some of the complex is very difficult to park. Oh yeah, that's lots of And if I show you, look up there, that's over there, that is Benton. And then like, if you make a right, then it's where Lawrence is. So you're very, very close to Lawrence Expressway but you don't really hear the traffic. Oh, wow, that's awesome. You don't find too many condos or apartments or anything like that. Yeah, a lot of them have parking problems. So yeah. you're very close to 101, 280, 
you know, from 280, you can get to 85. Lawrence Expressway is also a very important, you know, uh, way, uh, you know, roadway that you can take to work. And you are right by Lawrence and Benton. So around here, you near Intel, Cisco, NVIDIA is on Santa Moss Expressway. You are close to a lot of major uh, Silicon Valley companies here, mm -hmm. right? So see the white car there, that's my car. So there's more parking across the street over there. So okay. that's along there, there's more residential, so street parking. I see, I see. Is the community gated or is it open? Like No, it is not gated. I'll show you the stairs coming up. So here, so. Oh, I see, so it's more so of That's a where you come in. So you go up the second level. This is the entrance. And you can't really see it, but behind these trees that we're looking at, that's where the pool is. So she's very, very close to the pool. I think this is like the best location because you are not looking into the, I mean, I kind of like looking out mm -hmm. to the street instead of looking into the courtyard. There are a lot of them are looking into the courtyard where the parking spots may be. So yeah. you actually have a nicer or more open view from this unit. Yeah, definitely. How walkable do you think that neighborhood is, Grace? Oh, very walkable, very walkable, very residential. And let me see, uh, El Camino is very close. So this is Benton, the next street up, big block up is El Camino. And you have restaurants, we're near a Korean town. So that's lots of good restaurants. I love Korean food. Um, lots of, lots of restaurants. Um, chilies, what else do you have? A lot of, uh, you have a Paris baguette at, at Lawrence and El Camino. Um, yeah. So right next to the balcony, I'll turn the lights on, this is the laundry room. So this is also a rare feature of condos that you have inside laundry and you can put them side by side. Right? A lot of them I see is stackable. This is side by side, which is great. Yeah, and you can fit too comfortably and you don't have to use the uh, common facility, which can be a pain sometimes. So you just need to walk out to your patio and there it is. Does, um, does that double as like a patio storage or is there a separate patio? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Like she does put some of the storage item here, you know, and the water heater for this unit is here. Got it. Got it. Beautiful. That's awesome. That's definitely rare to find inside laundry, especially. Well, in inside laundry, I mean, this is nice because it's outside and if you're doing laundry, it's I mean, it's a 1,000 square feet property and you won't be hearing the noise if you are sleeping and you want to do laundry, right? It is out here. Mm -hmm. So you can minimize the noise as well. Speaking of noise, how is the soundproofing of the building? Like, would, do you think that bamboo floor would be loud for the downstairs neighbor? I don't believe so. I don't believe so because uh, HOA, usually they will approve it before you put wood floor, uh, I mean, or uh, take out carpet. So Very good point. I have not heard my uh, clients, uh, the seller mention anything about, mm. about it, you know, neighbors complaining and HOA usually needs to approve it before they put it in. So I, I don't believe there's any issue with that. Got it. Got it. And is there central heating and cooling in that, in that space, Grace? Central heating, yes, but no cooling. But I want to tell you, every time I come here, there is, if you have the patio door open, there is a light breeze and cross draft for this unit. Yeah. And you see, you, you, there's sunlight. It's a kind of a warm day. Today is what, at least in the 70s. Mm -hmm. But you have shade in front of this unit. So you're not getting any direct sun, which is going to heat up the place a lot. Um, one last thing or, you know, important thing I didn't mention is crown molding. See a beautiful crown molding up there? That is beautiful. I didn't even see that the first time around. That's gorgeous. Yep, I forgot to mention that. So you asked about car, uh, parking. So it's one assigned carport with the storage in front of it. It's a storage room. It's a, you, you can walk in standing up, you can walk in. And then uh, this owner, actually this complex also allow you to rent a second cupboard carport for 20 bucks a month. 20 bucks a month. Oh, wow. Isn't that great? I know, it's assigned carport parking. Um, so I mean, $20, $20, you can get another parking. I thought that's just amazing. Yeah, especially compared to like some apartment prices. 
Um, Grace, does the HOA cover roof, hot water, and the exterior? Hot, uh, so it covers water, garbage, sewer, exterior painting, anything exterior maintenance, a uh, roof as well. So, um, so, oh, let me just make sure. This is double pane, double pane. See how quiet it is? Mm -hmm. Double pane patio door. Oh, that's great. So just in case there's a big truck out there, you know, you, you barely hear it inside. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Uh, HOA, I think I answered your question regarding HOA. There's no litigation uh, that I know of. Uh, we're still waiting for the HOA docs to, uh, to be sent to us, but uh, the, the owner told me there's no issue, nothing that she know of, no issue with the HOA that we know of. Okay. But we'll confirm it. We'll confirm everything um, when we get the HOA docs next week. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I have one question for you back in the master bath. Uh, we okay. didn't storage in the master bath let's take a look well I think that with not as much as the other bathroom there's some in the vanity mm, oh, okay I see the drawers all right vanity it's pretty deep as well but then if you step outside I mean you're like two feet away from yeah lots of storage for what you need Got right it. That the where he put his towels as well, like toilet paper. He has a lot of paper towel storage here. Look, like plenty of room. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. So any questions? Any more questions inside? If not, I want to take you outside. Uh, right now, we are all good on questions. Okay. We have all of yeah. That'd be great. So we saw these stairs coming up just now. We are right on the landing area before you enter. So I want to show you this is where the furnace is. Uh, the owner also replaced the furnace since she purchased it. So it's a five-year-old furnace. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's great, but it's new. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So you may see, you see that door, that arch door over there? Oh, yeah. Uh, right there yeah so that's the entrance to the pool oh nice nice um are there so, other apartments on the same floor as you grace no no so this is the stairs coming up and mm -hmm. then that's the front door so you only have your door on this level and that's the patio that we were looking at earlier looking out from earlier oh got it so what do you think do you guys like it? I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I love the location. I love the quietness of the things that she did. It's beautiful. So let me set this down and <coughs> excuse me. Oh, sorry. I have allergies. Sorry. Okay. So I want to just make sure I go through all my notes to make sure I did not miss anything. I think I've covered everything. Furnace and space. Okay. Front door. Yeah, yeah I think I have everything here. Um, the, so it is about 10 minutes to the end of this open house. So I just want to talk about what I'm seeing out there in the market. A lot of people ask me, Grace, is it a good time to buy a home? So I have been tracking the numbers throughout the coronavirus outbreak. So uh, we, uh, last couple of weeks, uh, at the beginning, realtors were not essential for the first 10 days or so of the coronavirus um, pandemic. And so a lot of the homes that were on the market could not be shown. They cannot, get, uh, cannot be shown because people can't go to the house. Um, after that, they release, uh, they relax the rules so that the vacant homes uh, we can go and visit with masks and gloves. We can go see those properties. So that, those are great. So the vacant properties actually were selling. We're seeing the numbers, the pending numbers are actually pretty strong every week and slowly increasing as well. So starting about last week, I think last Monday, even occupied properties can be shown. So that's why I'm, a, I'm able to be here, uh, show you these beautiful properties and we can also make appointments to see 
uh, units that are occupied, but we just need to follow the social distancing rule and also bring your mask and um, hand, sanit uh, hand sanitizer to make sure that we're safe from the coronavirus. So the number of active listings are slowly increasing throughout the whole time, but the pending is actually increasing. So just last week, we were seeing maybe like three to four percent increase in pending for a couple of weeks on a sudden last week the number of pending actually went up 12 percent so went up 12 percent but the new listing increase was only about three to four percent so as you can see there will be more more listings get into pending than the new listing come on that means the current inventory will be quickly absorbed so buyers are out there buying and that's why the 12% of pending last week. So we know people are out there buying and we still have historic low interest rate. Last I heard we were about 3.6, I don't know the latest number, but like 3.6% for 30 years fix, I can get you the latest number. Um, so it's still a historic low rate uh, to get in. Just for reference, the 2008 uh, uh, crisis we had, as we enter into the 2008 crisis, the interest rate was at 6.5%, and we're at 3.5, 3.6 right now. So it's actually, you know, very exciting, you know, that, you know, their inventory is out there, you know, people are still buying. So I think it is a great time. Uh, people are starting to come out. You, you can stay ahead of the crowd and buy now, otherwise we're going back to 15, 20 offers, that kind of competition and more bidding for the house you love. So I think it's, it's absolutely a great time to go look at homes right now. Cassandra, do you see any other questions on the um, chat room? Yeah, I have one question for you. Uh, someone just wants to confirm, you're on the top floor, right? I'm on the top floor, yes. And there's only two floors, I'm on the top floor. Got it, got it, thank you. Mm -hmm. And Cassandra, before, you know, we made a beautiful uh, video about what's around here. Do you want to play that so that um, uh, the viewers have more information of what, what are around here in Santa Clara that's close by? Can you show that please? Definitely, let me get that up. Uh, let me, oh, we have one more question before I start. Okay. Someone would like to know if they can see the carport storage or if there's pictures. Oh, okay. Great question. Awesome. All right. If you don't mind me walking, let's see, I'll flip it over so you can see me. Oh, it's not flipped over yet. You can see that quickly. So you only have one neighbor downstairs, okay? okay? So you can go through here to the carport. So it's not the first spot. This is her spot. This is her spot. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's number two. Very close. So I, I, she doesn't have the key. I don't have the key to it. But see, like this is a full length door. Uh -huh. So it's a full length door. You can go in. And she told me like the storage is like from here all the way there. Oh, so basically. And it's maybe like three, three feet, three to four feet wide. So it's a huge storage space. You can put your bikes, your skis, her surfboard. She told me, she says she has a vacuum cleaner in there. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I love how you that's can great. go down the stairs to the carport. You don't have to walk across like a parking lot or anything. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'll walk around this and go back upstairs to show you. There's a lot of greeneries, a lot of trees. The swimming pool is behind me. See these parking space with shades, with shades. Yeah. That's good too, right? <laughs> In the hot summer day. Yeah. Let's say hello to the ducks. <laughs> They're taking a nap. Look at them. They're so cute. Oh, there's a cat right there. Even in the middle of the day, I love how quiet it's in the Yeah, you see the ducks? Hello. <laughs> so I'll show you from the outside what it looks like. So that's the unit there upstairs. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. I love the greenery. Love it. Yeah. 
Yes. Well, Cassandra, do you want to play that video? Yes, here we go. Let me get the video up and running. And there we go. Can you still hear me? Can you still hear me? Yes. Okay, so while you're playing that video, I wanna, since I'm down here, I'm gonna show you the pool and clubhouse. I'm walking over there. Can you put me back on the spotlight, please? Very here. Can you pull? Uh, no, your screen is black, Grace. Lose you. Sorry. Can you hear me? Can you see? Uh, am I connected? Yeah. 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 Uh, my uh, in my I was on Wi-Fi, so it's just dropped. Um, but I'm back. Can you fix the orientation for us, Grace? You're sideways. I am sideways. Okay. Yeah, is that better? Is that better? Yeah. If you can uh, put me back on the spotlight, I'll show you on the courtyard. Yeah, you're up, Grace. You're good. Oh, okay. Okay. So I want to see. This is the courtyard. And you see how fast I get here from her unit? It's just down the two flights of Stairs, and you're at the pool. Is that great? And this is the clubhouse. Beautiful day. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that yeah. was hard. So all the other units are back here. You see how I said why I like her unit with the view because there are some units here, kind of looking into the courtyard. You probably have more darker. You don't have as much natural light. Mm -hmm. yeah. But her unit is just looking out to the front, so you have no no one blocking. Yeah, you're not just in that building. She gets to look out and and all that. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. Did we finish playing that video? You want to play a little bit more of that while I walk upstairs? Yeah, let me go back to it. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so thank you all. It is close to two o'clock. I really appreciate you spending the time with me. Uh, this past hour, we looked at this beautiful two bedroom, two bath condo in Santa Clara on Altamira. So if you want to reach me, you can um, call me at 408-480-9312. All my information is up on the screen right now. And I love to help you with uh, getting this beautiful home uh, for you to call home next. So feel free to reach out, uh, call, text, or email. I'm available for you. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank everybody for joining. Yeah, why don't we play that video for, uh, for a little bit longer? Right. But I'm here. You can call me or you can text me if you have any questions after the open house as well. Of course. Thank you, Cassandra.
Yeah, or Monica in the background, in the background. She did an awesome job. You were great, great. Lots of great information. Thank you all for joining. Have a great rest of your Saturday. Yeah, thank you all. It's a beautiful Saturday. Thank you for joining. Cassandra, can you put me back on the screen? I just want to say bye to everybody. Yes, of course. Let me stop sharing the video. And you're up. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Talk to you soon.